Hey guys, how are you? Ryan Long here, back again with another video. And in this video, we are going to be going over iOS 6.1 and when can you expect to see it. So just last week, Apple ceded iOS 6.1 Beta 4 to their developers. And if you don't know what a Beta 4 is, the Beta 4 is basically, um, you know, this is Beta around 1, 2, 3, you know, the different like changes overall so um once apple gets around the beta 4 time you can actually start to expect when they can you know okay yeah it's gonna come soon ios 6 was released back in september and was uh brought to you with the iphone 5 and so um between the the release of ios 6 and iOS 6.1, Apple has actually released iOS 6.0.1, which involved battery issues and Wi-Fi issues. Also, they had a um, I iOS 6.0.2, only that was for the iPhone 5 and the iPad Mini, dealing with Wi-Fi issues, and I don't own any of those devices, so it didn't really affect me. So what do you want to expect from iOS 6.1? Well, I'll tell you what you should not be expecting. Do not expect some big overhaul of an OS, like, you know, widgets or any, like, big crazy applications. Um, just really expect some overall improvement as it is a point one or point two. It's not like iOS 6 to iOS 7. It is an iOS, um, just basically an improvement upgrade. So, um, what am I expecting? Personally, I'm expecting improvement in the Apple stores, you know, with the new, um, iTunes Store, App Store, and I don't really use the iBook Store, but I heard that there are some bugs in there. I've noticed that there are actually some decrease in speeds in, on my iPod and iPad and my Mac. You know, it's um, not really as fast as it's been, and it's not really how um, responsive as it's been and also on the mobile platform it's been crashing a lot lately I don't know if that's just my devices but I don't think it is because I read online that it's not just my device and so that is happening to other people so Apple needs to improve that as well as another thing and that other thing that Apple needs to be improving on is its maps uh, now when Apple released iOS 6 maps or Apple maps whatever they're calling it it was a complete failure um, it j just now around this time that Google had released their Google Maps application to help those on iOS and so you had to go out and choose a third party app like TomTom Tom or I don't even know because I don't need maps because um, I don't drive. Now this update will not officially um, fix the Apple Maps but it should be a good um, change. Now um, around the time of iOS 7 um, or whatever they call it, probably iOS 7, because, you know, they've done iOS 5, iOS 6. And so, um, what they're going to do is, uh, there's like a 30% chance or something that Apple's going to buy TomTom, Tom because TomTom Tom needs the money, Apple needs the map system right away. And so, that's what we can expect from that. So guys, are you excited for iOS 6.1? I know it was a short video, but uh, it's, you know, informing you that something new is coming. So get your Apple devices ready. Stay tuned for more. I'm Ryan. Peace off.